Now, April 27 every year, South Africans come together to celebrate Freedom Day, a day set aside to celebrate independence from white supremacy and slavery that lasted for centuries. Freedom Day 2024 marks the 30th anniversary of South Africa's democratic dispensation and commemorates the nation's first democratic election on April 27, 1994. Celebrated under the theme, 30 years of democracy, partnership and growth, this year's Freedom Month celebrations hold special significance as they also coincide with the 28th anniversary of the enactment of the South African Constitution as the supreme law of the land. New Central's Bongani Sizibar was on the streets of Johannesburg and filed in this report. I'm in the vibrant streets of Johannesburg and South Africa today is commemorating Freedom Day, a day that reflects on the journey towards democracy and the sacrifices made for freedom. As South Africans honor this day, I ventured into the streets to speak to fellow South Africans about what democracy means to them and whether they believe it has truly worked. Let's hear their perspectives. And genuinely, I don't think we are completely free because until we realize the, free, the right to free decolonized education in South Africa, I don't think we are free. As a university student, I'm standing here today knowing that there are some peers that are financially excluded, academically excluded, and cannot ab are not able to access ter tertiary education the way they're supposed to. I think we're not entirely free because considering the fact that we say we are a democratic country whereas there are also issues that we face that we were facing before democracy um, occurred and even now we have a lot of uh, problems that when we are approaching the next elections there are things that need to be addressed that the government is not even addressing in their manifestos. The voices of South Africans on the street echo the sentiments of a nation striving for more just and equitable society as they celebrate Freedom Day, it is evident that democracy has made a profound impact. Yet there is a collective call for further progress and unity. I am now at the Constitutional Hill, a place steeped with history and significance of South Africans, where memories of South Africans fighting for their freedom are preserved. The stories and resilience of determination displayed here serves as a reminder of the importance of South Africa's democracy. 30 years and I'm 28 years. I'd say mostly it's partially worked because I'm in the business sector and I've had the opportunity to explore in other endeavors. But for most of South Africa, I don't think the freedom we spoke of 30 years ago has really worked. Freedom here is very present. I've been able to practice my culture, my religion here without any issue. And today uh, we are celebrating the Freedom Day in South Africa and I think that's, that's uh, something that South Africa has achieved in terms of freedom. What does freedom mean to many South Africans, especially those that fought for freedom? I'm at the Constitutional Hill where more than 20 or maybe dozens of those who fought this war are still camped here, waiting for the president to come and address them. They want the reparations that they were promised, but 30 years down the line, they have not got anything. <laughs> Here is no freedom to this country, especially for uh, the victims of apartheid. We were fighting for this freedom, and our president know about that. This old mothers was defend our president at Katlong. As South Africans commemorate freedom, as South Africans commemorate Freedom Day, it is clear that democracy has made a significant impact in their lives. However, there is still progress to be made to ensure that it works for all. From Johannesburg, for News Central, I am Wangani Siziba.